Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Lucini Main Forge is an Italian company that specializes in the production of metal forging components for various industries, including the train, automotive, aerospace, and agricultural sectors. The company was established in 1892 and has since built a reputation for high-quality products and exceptional customer service. The company's state-of-the-art production facility is equipped with modern technology and equipment, ensuring that all products are made to precise specifications and meet industry standards. The company's team experienced engineers and technicians are dedicated to providing the best possible solutions for their clients. Lucini Main Forge operates in accordance with strict environmental and safety standards. With a focus on high quality products, Lucini RS produces railway axles that are known for their durability, strength, and ability. It uses modern technology and advanced production processes to ensure that its axles meet the rigorous standards of the railway industry. The production of a perfect axle of Lucini RS involves a series of carefully executed steps, which are as follows. The raw material for the axle is loaded into a lathe for machining. The ends of the raw material are machined to ensure they are square and parallel. A roughing operation is performed to remove the bulk of the material and achieve the desired shape. The finishing operation is performed to achieve the desired surface finish and remove any residual roughness. The material is subjected to cold rolling to improve its mechanical properties and achieve a more uniform structure. The first grinding operation is performed to improve the surface finish and remove any residual roughness. The second grinding operation is performed to further improve the surface finish and bring the material to its final dimensional tolerance. To remove any residual coolant, cutting oils, and debris that may have accumulated on the surface of the axle during machining. A dimensional check is performed to ensure that the material meets the specified dimensional tolerance. A magnetic test is performed to ensure that there are no surface or internal defects. An ultrasonic test is performed to detect any internal defects that may not be visible to the naked eye. The process starts with heating a cylindrical piece of steel to its forging temperature, then shaping it into a wheel shape using a press. This requires a great deal of precision and experience to ensure that the final product has the desired shape and strength characteristics. The wheel is then cooled, often in a special solution, to increase its strength and hardness.
After cooling, the wheel is subjected to various heat treatments and machining operations to refine its shape and surface. The final step is to balance the wheel to ensure even weight distribution and smooth operation. The end result is a strong, durable wheel that is ready to be used. The hydraulic press plays a crucial role in the production line for manufacturing stainless steel pans. Its operation involves several steps aimed at shaping and forming the stainless steel into the desired pan design. Here's an overview of how the hydraulic press functions in this process. Before the hydraulic press comes into play, sheets of stainless steel are prepared for the fabrication process. These sheets are typically cut into specific sizes and shapes suitable for forming into pans. The hydraulic press operates in conjunction with specialized dies that determine the final shape and size of the stainless steel pan. These dies are meticulously designed to ensure precision and consistency in the forming process. Once the material and dies are prepared, the stainless steel sheets are loaded into the hydraulic press. This is usually done manually or with the assistance of automated feeding systems, depending on the scale of production. Hydraulic presses utilize hydraulic fluid to generate immense pressure, which is applied uniformly to the stainless steel sheet through the dot. This pressure forces the metal to conform to the shape of the die, gradually forming the desired pan structure. As the hydraulic press exerts pressure on the stainless steel sheet, it undergoes plastic deformation, meaning it permanently changes shape without fracturing. This process may involve multiple cycles of pressing to achieve the desired depth and contours of the pan. After the forming process is complete, the newly shaped stainless steel pan may undergo cooling to stabilize its structure and prevent warping. Once cooled, the pan is ejected from the hydraulic press, ready for further processing or finishing touches. Throughout the operation of the hydraulic press, Quality control measures are implemented to ensure the integrity and precision of the formed pans. Inspections may include checking for dimensional accuracy, surface finish, and structural integrity. Regular maintenance of the hydraulic press is essential to ensure optimal performance and longevity. Additionally, Safety protocols must be strictly followed to prevent accidents and ensure the well-being of operators. The wheelbarrow pan trimming and beating machine is specifically designed for shaping wheelbarrow pans with precision and efficiency. Here's a breakdown of how it operates. Material preparation. The operator loads the wheelbarrow pan onto the machine ensuring it fits within the diameter range of 210 mm to 800 mm. Setup. Utilizing the Omron 10 inches touch color screen LCD panel, the operator inputs the required parameters such as thickness and diameter. This machine accommodates a maximum thickness of 4 mm for carbon steel, street 37.2, 
and 2.5 mm for stainless steel. 1.4301, IC304. Trimming process. The machine employs a cutting mechanism to trim excess material from the wheelbarrow pan, ensuring precise dimensions according to the input parameters. Beating operation. After trimming, the machine utilizes a beating mechanism to form edges or reinforce the rim of the wheelbarrow pan, enhancing its structural integrity and aesthetics. Control systems. Electrical switching equipment from reputable brands like Eaton or Siemens ensures reliable operation and precise control over the trimming and beating processes. Adjustability. The distance of the pneumatic top press group can be modified within a range of 200 mm to 1,500 mm, enabling flexibility to accommodate various sizes and shapes of wheelbarrow pans. Output. Once the trimming and beating operations are completed, the machine delivers accurately shaped wheelbarrow pans, ready for assembly and further finishing processes. In this section, we will visit Vlacan's factory, one of the leading manufacturers for the production of customized rims in relatively small batches. At the heart of the factory's manufacturing process lies their metal press shop, operated in collaboration with Live Systems. This partnership is built on complementary strengths, with Vlacan focusing on custom wheel solutions and Live Systems excelling in scalable production with advanced technology. Together, they offer a comprehensive solution from conceptual design to mass production, ensuring the highest quality standards throughout the process. These pressed steel rims are essential components of various vehicles and equipment, providing support and stability to tires while withstanding heavy loads and rough terrain. In this factory, there are different types of pressed steel rims designed to meet specific application requirements, including rims with an integral hub and rims for hub fitting. Rims with integral hubs feature a unique design where an integral tube is welded in the center of the rim. Within this tube, bearings are fitted, ensuring smooth rotation and proper load distribution. These rims are widely used across different industries and applications, including materials handling equipment, wheelbarrows, agricultural and horticultural equipment, as well as static caravans and trailers. The integral hub design offers several advantages, including the bearings fitted within the integral hub ensure that the rim rotates smoothly, reducing friction and enhancing overall performance. Bearings within the integral hub help distribute the load evenly, ensuring optimal weight distribution and minimizing wear and tear on the rim and tire. Rims with integral hubs are versatile and can be used in various applications due to their robust design and ability to withstand heavy loads. Rims for hub fitting, on the other hand, have stud holes that correspond with the pitch circle diameter, PCD, of the studs on the hub. These rims are commonly used in slow-speed industrial applications, agricultural machinery, as well as on high-speed trailers and caravans. The design of these rims allows for easy installation and secure attachment to the hub, ensuring stability and safety during operation. Powder coating technology plays a crucial role in ensuring the exceptional quality and longevity of Vlacan rims. The company has refined their processes over three decades to develop unique methods of pre-treatment and coating, resulting in rims that boast unparalleled durability and resistance to corrosion. Unlike wet paint, which may chip or peel over time, powder coating provides a robust and resilient finish that stands up to the rigors of everyday use. Additionally, Powder coating offers excellent protection against corrosion, 
ensuring that rims maintain their pristine appearance even after years of exposure to harsh environmental conditions. The powder coating process begins with a series of meticulous pre-treatment steps designed to clean and prepare the surfaces of the rims. This includes degreasing and phosphating, which are essential for promoting adhesion and enhancing the durability of the coating. After pre-treatment, the rims are thoroughly washed and dried to remove any remaining contaminants and ensure a clean surface for coating application. Once the pre-treatment process is complete, the coating is applied as a dry powder using electrostatic technology. This ensures uniform coverage and adherence to the metal rims, resulting in a flawless finish. The coated rims are then transported to an oven where the curing process takes place. During curing, the dry powder melts and flows, forming a tough and resilient film that provides long-lasting protection and a decorative finish. Vlacan's powder coating line features state-of-the-art technology and has been recently updated to enhance capacity and performance. With a gas-heated oven spanning 32 meters in length and capable of reaching temperatures of up to 195 degrees Celsius, Vlacan can efficiently process large quantities of rims while ensuring uniform curing and exceptional quality. The powder coating line has a standard throughput time of 140 minutes, with the flexibility to adjust chain speed to meet varying production requirements. Before starting the widening process, it's crucial to thoroughly inspect the steel wheels for any damages or structural weaknesses. Ensure that the wheels are suitable candidates for widening and are free from rust, cracks, or bends that could compromise safety. Once assessed, Clean the wheels meticulously to remove dirt, grime, and any existing coatings. To increase the width of the steel wheels, the first step involves cutting one side of the rim using a lathe. A lathe is a machine tool used for shaping metal by rotating it against a cutting tool. This process requires precision to ensure that the cut is even and smooth, maintaining the structural integrity of the wheel. The width of the cut depends on the desired final width of the wheel. In this case, 9 or 9.5 inches. After the initial cut with the lathe, the next step is to refine the edges and surface of the cut section using a grinder. Grinding helps to remove any rough edges, burrs, or imperfections left by the cutting process. It's essential to achieve a smooth and uniform surface to facilitate the welding process later on. To expand the width of the wheel, a steel ring is welded to the cut section of the rim. The steel ring serves as an extension that increases the overall width of the wheel. Careful measurement and alignment are crucial at this stage to ensure that the ring is welded precisely and evenly along the circumference of the rim. Welding should be done by an experienced welder using appropriate welding techniques and equipment.
Widening steel wheels, commonly referred to as steelies, is a popular modification among automotive enthusiasts looking to achieve a wider stance and a unique look for their vehicles. While aftermarket alloy wheels offer various sizes and designs, steel wheels possess a charm of their own, especially for those aiming for a vintage or industrial aesthetic. Widening steelies involves a series of precise steps and skilled craftsmanship to ensure safety and functionality. In this guide, we'll delve into the process of widening Volvo steel wheels from 6 inches wide to 9 and 9.5 inches, covering essential techniques and considerations. Once the steel ring is securely welded to the rim half, the two halves of the wheel are welded together to form a complete rim. This final welding process requires meticulous attention to detail to ensure proper alignment and structural integrity. It's essential to maintain consistent heat distribution during welding to prevent warping or distortion of the wheel. After welding, the widened steel wheels undergo a thorough quality control inspection to check for any defects or imperfections. This inspection includes verifying the integrity of the welds, measuring the width and diameter of the wheels, and ensuring that they meet safety standards. Once the wheels pass inspection, they can be finished according to the owner's preference, whether it's painting, powder coating, or leaving them with a raw industrial look. Before installing the widened steel wheels on a vehicle, it's essential to perform a test fitment to ensure proper clearance and alignment. Test fitting involves mounting the wheels onto the vehicle's hub and checking for any interference with suspension components, brake calipers, or body panels. Once the fitment is confirmed, the wheels can be installed securely using lug nuts or bolts tightened to the manufacturer's specifications. Hot forming of dished ends using hydraulic presses is a widely utilized method in the fabrication of pressure vessels, tanks, and other cylindrical containers. This process involves the shaping of thick plate material, typically steel, into a curved or dished shape by applying high pressure and heat. To initiate the hot forming process, thick plate material is heated to an elevated temperature, usually above its recrystallization temperature but below its melting point. This temperature allows the material to become more malleable and easier to deform without fracturing. The use of hydraulic presses enables the application of immense pressure uniformly across the surface of the material, ensuring consistent shaping. During hot forming, the plate material is placed on a dishing press equipped with a die that matches the desired curvature of the dished end. The hydraulic press exerts controlled force onto the heated plate material, causing it to deform and take the shape of the die. The process is carefully monitored to prevent excessive deformation or material failure. The thick plate material undergoes plastic deformation under the high pressure, gradually conforming to the shape of the die. As the material cools down, it retains the formed shape, resulting in a dished end with precise dimensions and curvature. The hot forming process also imparts favorable mechanical properties to the material, such as increased ductility and toughness, which are beneficial for applications requiring high strength and resilience. The production of worm gear units at AUMA drives is characterized by a high level of vertical integration, ensuring control and precision at every stage. Machining plays a pivotal role in the production process, with eight state-of-the-art CNC machining centers dedicated to turning parts. 
These centers boast impressive capabilities, with some able to accommodate turning lengths of up to 2,000 mm and turning diameters of up to 500 mm. For the production of worm shafts, AUMA drives relies on high-precision grinding procedures, ensuring exacting standards are met. When it comes to creating the splines of the worm wheels, the workshop utilizes eight computer-aided gear hobbing machines. These machines are capable of implementing diameters of up to 1,600 mm, with a maximum module of 20. Additionally, if required, all wheel set components can undergo additional hardening processes to enhance durability and longevity. Not to be overlooked, the housings of the gear units receive equal attention from specialists in Coswig. Eight CNC machining centers for milling castings, with impressive capacities of up to 2,000 kilograms, ensure precise and consistent results. Furthermore, two painting facilities dedicated to wet painting of the gear unit housings guarantee a flawless finish. For an added layer of protection and durability, the company employs two fully automated lines for powder coating. These lines feature two powder booths and the option for manual recoating, ensuring a robust finish that can withstand the demands of various applications. An eight-zone pretreatment process is employed to optimize coating quality, particularly for workpieces weighing up to 300 kilograms. Metal spinning, when done manually, is a centuries-old craft that relies on the skill and precision of the artisan to shape metal into desired forms using simple tools and techniques. Despite advancements in automation and CNC technology, manual metal spinning remains a valuable and respected practice, particularly for producing bespoke or one-of-a-kind pieces that require a human touch. The process of manual metal spinning begins with the selection of a suitable blank, typically a flat sheet or disc of metal such as aluminum, copper, or brass. The artisan then clamps the blank onto a spinning lathe, which may be operated by foot or hand, depending on the size and complexity of the workpiece. As the lathe rotates the blank at high speed, the artisan applies pressure using hand tools such as wooden or metal shaping tools, known as spoons or pushers, to gradually shape the metal into the desired form. One of the key advantages of manual metal spinning is the level of control it affords the artisan over the shaping process. By carefully adjusting the pressure and angle of the shaping tools, the artisan can create intricate and complex shapes with a high degree of precision. This hands-on approach allows for greater creativity and experimentation, as the artisan can respond intuitively to the behavior of the metal as it is worked. However, manual metal spinning also requires a significant amount of skill and experience to master. The artisan must have a keen understanding of the properties of different metals and how they respond to pressure and deformation. They must also possess a steady hand and a keen eye for detail to ensure that the final product meets the desired specifications. In addition to shaping the metal, manual metal spinning also involves annealing, or heating, the workpiece at certain stages to improve its ductility and make it easier to work. This may involve heating the metal with a torch or placing it in a furnace to achieve the desired temperature. 
Annealing helps to prevent cracking or fracturing of the metal during the spinning process and allows for more intricate and precise shaping. Despite its labor-intensive nature, manual metal spinning offers several distinct advantages over automated methods. It allows for greater flexibility and customization, as the artisan can easily make adjustments to the shaping process in real time. Manual metal spinning also preserves traditional craft techniques and fosters a deeper connection between the artisan and the workpiece, resulting in pieces that possess a unique character and authenticity. The Tesker Model 742 die thread roller is a heavy-duty machine designed for industrial use. With a maximum rolling force of 340,000 pounds, this machine is capable of rolling even the largest parts up to a diameter of 12 inches. The video accompanying the Tesker 740 demonstrates some of the initial setup steps, followed by a demonstration of the machine rolling a 4.5 x 1.5 TPI single start Acme thread in 1045 CDs. The Tesker model 742 die thread roller is built for efficiency and ease of use. The machine's 340,000 pounds of rolling force ensures that even the toughest materials can be rolled with ease, reducing downtime and increasing production. The video showcases the ease with which the machine can be set up, ensuring that users can up and running quickly and efficiently. With its high rolling force and ease of use, the Tesker Model 742 die thread roller is a valuable addition to any industrial facility. The True Laser Cell 3000 is a versatile and highly precise 5-axis laser machine designed for flexible processing of small to medium-sized components. It excels in 2D and 3D laser cutting, laser welding, and laser deposition welding, LMD. Its process flexibility allows for seamless transitions between welding, cutting, and LMD through simple and quick process adapter changes. For larger production volumes, the machine can be easily automated to meet customer requirements, with tailor-made device concepts integrating sophisticated clamping technology and sensors. The True Laser Cell 3000 features a modular construction, facilitating easy retrofitting or upgrading with various options and processing optics. It ensures high repeatability across the entire 3D workspace and offers a flexible working space, enabling the utilization of the entire work area for large installations and extensive automation technology. Operated via an intuitive interface based on the Siemens 840D Salute Online, the machine boasts high user friendliness and ergonomics. Equipped with highly dynamic linear direct drives, it enables quick and precise positioning with minimal wear. The unique optical system automatically adjusts focus diameter and position, allowing for variable imaging ratios programmatically tailored to specific processing tasks. The production of aluminum pots through the spinning method involves shaping flat circular aluminum discs on a spinning lathe. Secured in place, the disc rotates rapidly while skilled artisans meticulously shape it using specialized tools. Through gradual application of pressure, 
the metal stretches and bends into the desired pot shape. This process creates seamless designs without the need for welding or soldering, enhancing structural integrity. Aluminum's excellent heat conductivity ensures even distribution during cooking, making these pots ideal for various culinary tasks. Additionally, spun aluminum pots are lightweight yet durable, resistant to rust, and easy to maintain. This manufacturing technique results in high-quality cookware valued for its reliability and performance in both professional kitchens and household settings. Drawing upon over half a century of experience, Copco has honed its tank head's production processes to perfection, ensuring that each tank head meets the stringent standards demanded by the industry. High-speed coil blanking lines are employed to cut flat circular discs, known as blanks, from large steel coils. These blanks serve as the raw material for the tank heads. Once the blanks are cut, they are fed into forming presses where they undergo shaping processes to achieve the desired curvature and profile. The workshop's forming presses, with capacities of up to 2,500 tons, exert significant pressure on the blanks, transforming them into semi-spherical or elliptical shapes according to design specifications. Following the forming process, the tank heads may undergo trimming and beveling to remove excess material and refine the edges. Throughout the production process, the company implements stringent quality control measures to ensure that each tank head meets or exceeds industry standards. Depending on customer requirements, tank heads may undergo surface treatment processes such as shot blasting or painting to enhance corrosion resistance and improve aesthetics. These treatments also prepare the tank heads for subsequent welding or assembly operations. The Hausler VRM Type 4 roll plate bending machine is a versatile and robust piece of equipment designed for various bending tasks. Its operation involves linear hydraulic movement of the side and bottom rolls, enabling efficient bending processes. This machine excels in shaping tubes, tube segments, rounded boxes, ovals, and other forms. Key functionalities include pre bending of sheet edges, rounding sheets into cylindrical shapes, cone bending press bending for even and uneven radii, and calibrating for minimizing radius variations in welded tubes. The VRM's design prioritizes precision, durability, and ease of use. It boasts high-torque rotary drives, ensuring productivity with precise and safe operations. Its special arrangement of side roller cylinders enhances bending accuracy and reduces wear. With optimized roller materials and bending geometry, it consistently delivers perfect bending results, even for conical components. Operating the VRM is streamlined with a Bendtronic 2.0 control system, featuring integrated artificial intelligence for optimal results. CFI, or Contract Fabricators Inc appears to have cultivated a robust suite of technical capabilities within their fabrication operations. The workshop's proficiency in cutting, rolling, and forming operations enables them to manipulate materials into complex shapes and geometries. This capability supports the fabrication of customized components and structures tailored to client specifications and design requirements. 
In heavy wall fabrication, CFI demonstrates expertise in welding and fabrication techniques tailored to projects with substantial thickness requirements. This involves specialized equipment and skilled personnel capable of executing intricate welds and structural assemblies with precision. The utilization of robotics for cutting and welding operations suggests a forward-thinking approach to enhancing efficiency and accuracy. Robotic technology can offer repeatability and consistency in tasks that require precision, contributing to overall productivity and quality. The incorporation of laser dimensional verification underscores CFI's commitment to ensuring the integrity of large-scale assemblies and structures. In refractory work, CFI likely employs specialized techniques and materials for cast and pneumatically rammed refractories, tailored to withstand high temperatures and harsh operating conditions. This expertise enables them to provide durable linings for industrial equipment and infrastructure. Similarly, their proficiency in coatings application suggests familiarity with a variety of conventional and thermally applied coatings systems. This capability allows CFI to enhance the durability, corrosion resistance, and aesthetic appeal of fabricated components to meet client specifications and environmental requirements. The Shellmaster a steel tank assembly system developed by Sakan Automation revolutionizes the manufacturing process by addressing the challenges of concentricity and welding in tank assembly. Traditionally, tank manufacturers face issues with variations in tolerances due to factors such as mill sizes, roll condition, process, head manufacturers, and seam welding, which can lead to fit-up problems during assembly. To overcome these challenges, the Shellmaster employs hydraulic alignment technology to precisely align rolled shells with manufactured tank heads. This ensures optimal concentricity and mating of components, eliminating the need for labor-intensive and often unsafe manual alignment methods like hammers, pry bars, or welded levers. The press line offers a straightforward solution for aligning tank heads with both joggle and butt joints, streamlining the assembly process and reducing costs associated with fit-up issues. By providing consistent and reliable alignment, the Shellmaster enhances manufacturing efficiency and product quality, enabling tank fabricators to meet the demands of the competitive market. Submerged arc welding SOB, is a specialized welding process utilized in the manufacture of pressure vessels, which are crucial components for containing various gaseous and fluid products in a wide range of applications. SAW operates by creating a high-quality weld through the fusion of materials under a blanket of granular flux. The process begins with meticulous preparation of the materials to be joined ensuring they are clean and properly aligned. In pressure vessel manufacturing, this often involves carefully shaping and positioning metal plates or pipes according to precise specifications. These components are then securely clamped into place. Once the setup is complete, the welding arc is initiated. In saw, the arc is submerged beneath a layer of granular flux, which serves multiple purposes. Firstly, the flux shields the molten weld pool from atmospheric contamination, preventing the formation of defects that could compromise the integrity of the weld. Secondly, it generates a protective slag layer over the weld bead, 
which helps to regulate the cooling rate and prevent rapid solidification, thereby reducing the likelihood of cracking. As the arc moves along the joint, the heat generated melts the base materials, forming a pool of molten metal. Simultaneously, the flux melts and decomposes, releasing a gas that shields the weld from the surrounding environment. This combination of factors results in a smooth, uniform weld with excellent mechanical properties. Pressure vessel welding requires meticulous attention to detail and adherence to strict quality standards to ensure the finished product meets regulatory requirements and can withstand the demanding conditions it will encounter in service. Laser welding has revolutionized the fabrication of stainless steel hot water tanks, enhancing both efficiency and quality. This advanced method is pivotal in container production. Employing a fully automated process within a compact system optimizes space utilization and cycle times. By integrating laser technology with MSG, metal inert gas, technology, production output triples within the same time frame, requiring less space and fewer personnel. Moreover, this approach minimizes material consumption and rework while elevating product quality. The applications of this technology extend across various sectors within the container industry. From fire extinguisher casings to pressure vessels, the versatility of laser welding enables the fabrication of diverse products with precision and reliability. Notably, in the realm of hot water tanks, laser welding ensures durability and integrity, meeting stringent quality standards. As a result, manufacturers can meet growing demands efficiently while maintaining exceptional product performance. Pacific Forge Inc. is a leading manufacturer of high-quality metal products, specializing in the open die forging process. This process is a metal forging technique where a workpiece is shaped by compressive forces applied through hammers or presses. The process allows the company to produce highly intricate and complex shapes with exceptional accuracy, making it an ideal solution for a wide range of industrial applications. The workpiece is heated to a temperature where they become malleable, allowing them to be easily shaped into the desired form. The worker positions the workpiece between the dies and prepares to strike it with the hammer. The worker then steps his foot on a pedal, which activates the hammer and allows it to strike the workpiece. The impact of the hammer on the workpiece causes it to deform and take on the desired shape. The worker must use precise timing and control to ensure that the workpiece is struck with the right amount of force, at the right angle, and in the right location. One of the key advantages of this process is that it allows the worker to control the speed and force of the hammer which gives him greater precision and accuracy when shaping the workpiece.
This is particularly important for producing complex shapes, where precise control is essential for achieving the desired results. It is also important for the worker to be trained and experienced in this operation, as it requires a high degree of manual dexterity and hand-eye coordination. The worker must have a thorough understanding of the process and the equipment used, as well as a keen eye for detail and the ability to work quickly and efficiently.